Never. Hello Playmates, I am Tufty Indigo, this is Spy Party, and you're going to learn today how to flirt like James Bond. Spies do need to flirt sometimes. Uh, it's not just like James Bond with the uh, covering a scene that's in between some very expensive action scenes so that you can pad the film out of it. You might need to uh, get somebody into a compromising position so that you can blackmail them with the photos afterwards. Or uh, maybe you just want to get into their confidence and uh, have some lovely pillow talk afterwards so that they might reveal something that they wouldn't normally say. Uh, either way, your seduction targets identified by this red triangle if you're the spy, uh, but the sniper doesn't know who it is. And here's uh, how you go about it. We're going to begin with the basics that you should already know if you've done the tutorial. But we'll quickly move on to some tips that even the expert players get wrong sometimes. So we're just going to start by sidling up to our seduction target in conversation, just as Toby comes over to us. And uh, we'll do this right-click action to flirt with seduction target. Flirting is a speak action, so once you've done it, you should wait for your talk animation to finish to avoid breaking the animation. If you're uh, nice and cozy with your seduction targets, you get more flirt progress, and uh, a green test gives you more progress than a white test. So here you can see I got the uh, maximum 51% flirt. Uh, it's really good if you get 51 because that means you can do two flirts to finish the uh, to finish the seduction. Uh, so my seduction target's not really. Uh, not really cooperating right now, they've stopped to go and return the briefcase, so we'll just uh, hang out in this conversation for a bit. Uh, I'm, I'm ignoring uh, Toby completely there, that's uh, pretty bad. So seduction targets come back and stood right next to us, uh, but you see that I can't, oh yeah, well, I can't actually, the time has already run down. So uh, we're pretty cozy here, let's, uh, let's float with them again, and that's a second retest. So maximum flirt power we've finished the flirt there it, we've finished the seduction in only two flirts and that's pretty good if you can do that every game then uh, th that's basically a free mission uh, now in this case you can see that I'm still quite close to the seduction target but let's uh, let's not get a green test this time and so I've got 30% of flirt progress there uh, it's really hard to see the the writing uh, as the graphics are at the moment, it's, it's quite small, but you can see on the bar that's 30%. And uh, if I do three of those, I won't even finish, I'll be on 90, so that's putting me into four flirt territory. So next time, I've got to either be uh, be careful to get a bit closer to the seduction targets, or uh, try and go for a green test to try and fix that up. Here I'm standing uh, across the conversation almost from the seduction targets. So uh, if I flirt here and I do a white test, you see I only get 24. Uh, you can get a bit less than 24, 17% is the minimum amount of flirt, which is uh, pretty awful. And uh, for that's if you're really right across the conversation. Uh, if you're really close to them, but you do only get a white test, uh, that's 34. So you see the, the difference you make makes a factor of two there. And of course 34, if you get three of those, you can do that in uh, in three flirts. So uh, yeah, the, the distance to the seduction target there makes the difference between doing three flirts and doing six flirts, which is huge. Uh, and then of course the, the greens can bring that down to two flirts. So that's really valuable. It's also possible to flirt with your seduction target at statues when you're standing next to them or at window pads. And so here, I've got a 34% white flirt from being on the next statue. Uh, you can do the same at the picture over there if I just wait for the timer to go down. Oh no, they're running away. But it looks like they might be going to a window, so I can show you a window flirt there. So let's, uh, here's uh, a far window flirt. And if I white test that, that's, uh, that's up to 60%. 
So uh, yeah, that was uh, six, 26%, so that's not so good, but it's not as bad as that 17%. Flirting at a window can be uh, really powerful because you don't do the talking animation to do it. So it's a lot quicker because you don't have to stand there and stay in conversation for a whole talking cycle. And because you can do it as soon as you come up to the person rather than uh, having to stand in conversation, idle for a bit, wait for your turn to talk and then talk. Of course, even with the conversation floods, it is possible to do it faster, but uh, you uh, you know, if you interrupt your, your talking cycle, you'll do an animation break and a good sniper will be on top of that. So uh, as with all etiquette things, you have to uh, judge, can I afford to break it now? Is the, the time I gain by breaking etiquette better than uh, the, the risk of being seen by the sniper? And it'll depend on how suspicious you are at the time, which you kind of have to guess on. Uh, and on what kind of sniper you're playing against. If they're an etiquette sniper, then they might notice even if you're not very suspicious. Uh, but if they're not very good at etiquette, maybe even if you're highlighted, they won't notice you breaking an animation. So if I uh, reset the mission here, and I do a flirt, you can see, uh, I, as well as my flirt progress bar in the top left, I've also got a bar that's uh, counting down from uh, from right to left there, and that's my flirt timer. So that you can't just keep flirting solidly, that's uh, that's going to put anybody off. There's such a thing as coming on too strong. So really you have to leave a little bit of a gap between your flirts, and that's what this means. So uh, you'll see the timer's ticking down quite slowly here, because I'm still right next to my seduction target. Uh, if I leave the conversation and I go far away to a different conversation, and I just break a cycle there to do some talking, you can see the, the timer ran down much more quickly there. So as soon as I'm done in this conversation, I can go back and start floating again. So uh, that countdown timer, um, if you do stay uh, very cozy to your seduction target and you're right next to them, that's a 45 second countdown. So that's really long. Um, for some maps, that might mean that you can't, you can't finish seduction by doing it that way. Because um, some of the shorter maps, uh, you know, three or four lots of 45 seconds might be more time than you have, so you would uh, you would not be able to do that. And uh, so really, um, it's best to use that time for something else. Um, and we'll come back to that a bit later. So uh, if we uh, go and talk to our seduction target of books now, you'll see it's uh, it's really quick to pick up a book. So if you're going to talk and do a flirt at books, you should really pick the book up first, and then once you've got the book, you can do your flirting. Um, if you start the flirt before you pick the book up, then uh, that's really suspicious because the the AI won't wait that long to pick up a book. So uh, again, an etiquette sniper might shoot you for that, or it might just make you look more suspicious. Uh, now I'm going to go talk to my seduction target at statues here, and you'll see the opposite consideration happens at statues. Um, spies will wait about four seconds before they pick up a statue. So if you're going to flirt at statues, you should do the flirt first and then pick up the statue. If you uh, if you pick up the statue first, uh, it's probably too soon. And uh, if you pick up the statue at the right time and then flirt, there's a good chance that the, uh, the seduction target will walk off before you can get your flirt in. Now, I've mentioned the green and white action tests for flirting, but uh, there's also the possibility of a red test. If you get a red test, uh, something very suspicious will happen. Your seduction target will immediately go away from you. So they, they'll leave the pad, they'll leave the conversation, wherever you are, they'll go away. And uh, that's kind of annoying because uh, you wanted to flirt with them and uh, they walk off. Um, but it can also be a very powerful tool for the spy because 
they will stop whatever they're doing. Even if they're in the middle of talking, if you red flirt, they'll break their animation to leave the conversation. If they've got a book, they'll uh, put the book down in the middle of their animation. And the same with uh, the same with a statue. If they're holding a statue and they're in the holding it up phase of their animation, and you red flirt, they'll slam it back down on the pad and run out of there like some really creepy guys creeping on them. Um, which is which is what happens with the red flirt, right? Um, so it's really powerful as a framing tool if you want to make the seduction target look suspicious to an etiquette sniper though uh, you have to be careful with that because of course the etiquette snipers also know that you can red flirt so uh, if someone who they think is an AI starts slamming statues down or slamming the books back in and running off then they'll think ah that was definitely a red flirt so it can draw attention to you that way but uh, it can also be used for framing uh, because if they are already suspicious and uh, the sniper doesn't realize that that was a red flirt then uh, you've just made them break etiquette. It can also be uh, really useful for if, um, if the, the seduction target is in a place where you don't want them to be. Uh, so here's a good example of uh, when a red flirt might be useful. Uh, I've ended up on the opposite side of uh, the conversation from the seduction target. Uh, maybe it's near the end and uh, I, I need to do a close flirt to finish and I can only do a far flirt from here so I'm not going to get enough progress to finish the mission. Uh, I don't want to twitch over to the pad, that's super suspicious. So instead, I can red flirt and that forces him to leave the conversation. And then I can immediately chase after him to windows and I can go for my finishing flirt there. Um, red flirting does not cause the seduction timer to, uh, to start, so you can red flirt as many times as you like to move that seduction target around uh, until you get them into a place where you can stand next to them quite cozy. So how about flirting in a real game? Well, one really common opener is to just start with your first flirt. Find where your seduction target is if you start anywhere near them. And uh, go and give them your best chatter blind. So we'll see uh, General here is going to Green Books. So let's go to Green Books. Let's bump into everyone. I'm going to remember to uh, to get the book out first so that I'm not breaking etiquette. Uh, you don't want to be breaking it to get in the early game and then I'm going to start my flirt and uh, that's a lovely 34% flirt there that's uh, you know I'm opening with uh, ooh, you look very distinguished in your uniform uh, so that's quite a nice one and so I've already made some progress on the board there in the, the opening seconds of the game and uh, if I want to maybe I will uh, slightly break out animation and do a blatant transfer to the other bookshelf <laughs> and that can be two two mission progresses done at once there so if i slam that in now i can i was going to go and chase general to statues there but he's already moving uh one thing that's important to note on gallery is you can flirt across the statues for the purposes of flirting these two statue pads and uh, the other two statue pads are uh, adjacent so if somebody's standing at one, you can stand facing them and uh, look longingly into their eyes and uh, wink at them and give them your best chat up line. So I'm going to chase General down again here. He's looking at his watch. He's probably not going to stay at window pads for very long. That is a real risk on uh, this map in particular. If you chase your seduction target outside, there's a good chance that by the time you get there, especially if you're a slower character, uh, then they'll have already decided to leave and you end up kind of on your own and you have to uh, do a risky time ad and then go back inside and he's already moving maybe he's going to come back outside yeah you see if I'd stayed where I was I would have been fine so you can see uh, because I'm only doing flirts here I am now chasing the seduction target all over the map I'm not actually making very good progress for my time so uh, I've got a chance to do another flirt here. Uh, I don't want to talk as soon as I get into conversation. Uh, super suspicious. But I also don't want to risk him uh, walking away. So let's get that flirt in. And it's, uh, well, you know, General, uh, at these functions, I think us older people have to stick together. 
it can be very stimulating or, or something along those lines. And so that's some more float progress. And now what am I going to do? Well, the Amber's right next to me, but I don't have a good path behind him. Maybe I will... Oh, General's moving as well. Maybe I'll go to statues now. And uh, that's really the... Uh, I've gone to the wrong statue here, because really, if you're going to inspect, you want to go to the opposite statue. Uh, and I'm going to miss the opportunity to inspect, because Rocket's going to pick it up in the middle. Oh, man, yeah, too slow there. I can't talk and spy at the same time. Um, but this, what I'm doing here is showing you an example of how you use the flirts. Because if you just do flirts, if you think, well, I've done a flirt and now I have to wait for a bit, and then you do another flirt, then you're going way too slowly. Look at my time here. I've only got 40 seconds left, and uh, I did that microfilm at the start, which was a bit of a gift. And all I've got really is two flirts. So if I do another one now. See, I haven't even finished. I'm on 94%, which is a bit of a shame. If I stood a bit closer there, I could have finished on that flirt. Um, I'm going to reject a drink here. But I'm now running out of time. I can... Ch oh, no, but I, ch I chase him and he runs away, you see. So what you really have to be doing is doing missions between your flirts. So you do a flirt, and then rather than thinking, where can I idle for 45 seconds? while the timer runs down, or however long the time is going to be, depending on how far away you go from your target, you have to be thinking, what's another mission I can do now? And uh, yeah, I do see a lot of sniper, a lot of spies not doing that. Um, and of course, how important that is depends on uh, what kind of map it is. Some maps uh, do have quite a long time limit for the amount of stuff you have to do. Uh, whereas some don't. So uh, library is a good example of uh, a map where actually it's quite common to do a flirt at the start and then idle or even stay in the same conversation and do a so-called timer flirt. Timer flirt being uh, when you stay in conversation and let the timer run down the whole 45 seconds rather than leaving and going away from your seduction target to make it run down faster. So yeah, library is an example of a map where it's quite common to timer flirt so do you do two flirts at the start and then you rush the rest of your missions. Um, but yeah, gallery, you really can't do that. Gallery is really tight on time. So you do a flirt, you do another mission, you do a flirt, you do another mission, you do a flirt. And hopefully you've uh, you've got your three flirts there. Uh, and you don't time out with uh, only one mission done like this game. <laughs> one other technique that's important when you're seducing is uh, to keep an eye on how much flirt you need. So uh, here you can see in this situation I've got 85% flirt progress. Uh, so any flirt will do me at this point. I can stand right across the conversation of flirts. I can stand where the ambassador is standing now. Uh, because that minimum 17% white flirt, it will take me to 100% and finish. So maybe if it's late in the game and I'm worried that the sniper is trying to pair me with my seduction targets, or if I'm worried that uh, maybe I'll get shot for flirting in the late game, rather than uh, go and stand right next to them and be super suspicious and super snuggly and be like, hey, I'm going to do a really good flirt now. Instead, you could just walk up to them and, and go to the opposite side of the conversation and say, you know what? I only need the minimum flirt here. Here is the minimum flirt. And, uh, and finish that way. So uh, it's, uh, it's really useful to keep track of how much seduction progress you have. Uh, how much your target uh, likes you and uh, how good a job you've done so that you know how much you have left to do. do will 17% finish seduction for me or do I need to get snugly some more? Will a green finish for me? Because then that can also help you to plan out the rest of your mission. If you know that you still need three flirts to finish but you've only got 40 seconds left then uh, you could go in and, and uh, hope for a green but more likely you need to look at doing a different mission to finish, maybe doing pause or uh, doing a late ploying or something, some, some kind of more desperate move rather than trying to flirt. Now one map that throws all the rules out the window is Balcony and uh, that's no different for flirting. 
So uh, yeah, your floating strategy is completely different. And don't forget, you only need two missions, so you don't need to be looking at doing other missions between your floats. It's more important to control how many times you're talking, because the sniper will be keeping count of how many potential floats, floats each character has done, so that they can see who might have finished. Uh, some snipers will highlight the first talker or the second talker in the game. So uh, you need to be very aware of when you're going to flirt and who else is talking in Balcony. Balcony basically could have uh, a huge video made just for itself. So uh, I, all I'm going to say here is that the, everything I've been telling you about when to flirt and how to flirt and uh, doing other missions and how not to time out is just completely wrong for Balcony. And uh, yeah. But floating is so much more important on this map because it's there's only three missions and you only need two of them and uh, double agents and seduce are the usual two. It's possible to bug if you don't have enough flirt progress and you think you're going to time out. Uh, I can't bug right now because I'm holding a drink. Um, or it's possible to bug instead of contact double agents and have a silent game that way. Um, I've noticed that lots of spies uh, on Balcony do not like to chase their seduction target to the window because um, people don't stay at the windows for very long, so you're at more risk of being uh, being sunshined, as they call it, um, which is why your seduction target walks away before you can get your flirt in. So some people will just stay in the conversation for the whole game. They'll only leave conversation if uh, it's getting late on the timer and uh, they need to go to make the seduction uh, timer run down faster. So we've seen some example of uh, standard seduction play for spies, but there's a lot of creative ways you can use it. And I wanted to show you uh, some examples of that. So uh, thanks to Warning Track for recommending this game which uh, is some very, very high level play. Uh, it's KCM versus Crazy Kaylee, who uh, they are between them probably the best players of the game. Uh, Crazy Kaylee, uh, definitely the, the strongest sniper and KCM uh, probably the strongest spy in the game. And uh, this match is, uh, the well, this is actually the last game of a spy party competitive league match where uh, Crazy Kaylee has drawn slightly ahead and KCM now t now needs to play as Spy to make a draw. So for KCM, this game is the difference between a draw and a loss. Uh, so let's see how the seduction fits into the rest of the missions, fits into the game at this level. So at the start, it's, uh, it's gonna be pretty standard we uh, we just uh, go into a conversation and the seduction targets are happy enough to come with us but uh, there was a, an opportunity to bug the ambassador there and that's a, a really clean bug in that uh, in that crowd and with more people between the conversation and the sniper uh, it's completely hidden so we take the bug and then walk away before we're seen with the ambassador uh, so that's a, a good alternative to the the kind of standard opening of doing one flirt and now uh, we pick up this red book. So uh, in uh, in previously in the match, uh, Kaylee has been very strong at spotting uh, the microfilm transfer from taking one book to the other bookshelf. So we don't do that yet. We just walk off with uh, walk off with the book and we go and talk to the seduction target. So that's our, our opening flirt there, and we're standing right next to them. So we get the maximum white flirt there. We get that 34%. And we're in the middle of doing a mission here. So uh, even though we didn't go straight for the flirt, we're still doing missions and flirting at the same time there. So we've used the flirt uh, to cover our walking around with this book, really, so that we can then come back to the red bookshelves and do the action test microfilm transfer and put that book back down. So now we're going straight off to do another mission. Um, we could uh, choose to contact the double agent here. And the end of red. And there we go. It comes off. Now, Crazy Kaylee's got Crazy Kaylee has got a really good memory, and he's very strong on getting low lights. 
Um, so uh, yeah, a lot of low lights come off this. Um, obviously, as the uh, as the spy, uh, KCM doesn't see those low lights during the game. But uh, as the spectators, we know that uh, that's really ruled out a lot of suspects. But we're still not high lit. There are a couple of people high lit. Um, we're just neutral lit. We haven't really done anything suspicious yet. Um, but uh, now we go in for our second bookshelves visit. Since we did the action test transfer, we uh, we have to do another one to. Uh, to complete that. Um, there was a hard fingerprint on these books, but we don't get it. And inconveniently, our seduction target uh, comes over to the other bookshelves. And uh, maybe if they'd gone there before we moved, then we would have gone to that blue bookshelf instead of the green bookshelf so that we could flirt and pick up the book at the same time. But it doesn't work out this time. So, uh, you know, we've got just under 90 seconds left and we've only done one flirt. So it's looking a bit slow for the, the seduction at this point, but uh, we are getting other missions done. And I think that's a, a crucial thing with the seduction. A lot of people, once they've started it, will um, kind of rush the flights. They'll try and get it finished as quickly as possible because they don't want to risk having 20 seconds left at the end of the game and the seduction target is in somewhere where you can't flirt. Like they're walking around, they're, they're going right from one end of the gallery to the other and you can't flirt with them. And, and people are afraid of getting stuck in that situation. So I think people... Uh, try to complete seducers as soon as possible whereas actually once you've got a bit of seduce progress it's kind of it's nice to have that in your pocket so that uh, you can um, so that you can go back to it so we're running out of time here and and this is the kind of the opposite we still need two missions but we've been to the bar and we can delegate now so uh, we do a green seduce here which is really helpful that brings us up to 85 percent but we don't have time to do our last seduce this is really bad we've only got 20 seconds so we delegate our um, our Poloin to uh, the seduction target. So now the seduction target has to go to bar. We wait, they've walked right away for us. So that flirt timer goes down really quickly. And now what happens, we rock up a bar next to them. They're busy uh, taking that for us and we can do the flirt at the same time. Because we use that red flirt, uh, sorry, yeah, because we use that, uh, the not a red flirt in this case, because we use the delegate to make them walk away from us. It made, uh, it made that flirt timer go down really quickly so that we could get our final flirt in uh, in, uh, in the last second there. And of course the delegate also stopped the game from finishing so that uh, we had time to do that flirt. So that's some, some really kind of out of the box play there. And uh, in this case uh, it was uh, so exciting at the end because uh, we got the overtime beeps and Kaylee just didn't know who to shoot. Uh, as you can see we weren't even highlight, uh, highlights here. Um, so that's uh, a really creative use of the uh, a really creative use of flirting in combination with other missions. So here, delegating to make your seduction target go somewhere. So yeah, that was uh, everything there is to know about flirting, or at least if not everything there is to know, because there is definitely a lot to know in this game. It's certainly enough to get you started on flirting. So. Here's to some successful chatting up and uh, not getting caught doing it. And I'll see you in the lobby at some point. This has been Spy Party, which you can find out more about on spyparty.com if you're interested. And I've been Tufty Indigo. Goodbye.